can acquire this knowledge. So you can get the most out of this webinar, all right? <clears throat> so our keynote speaker is uh, none other than uh, Faslan Fais. So he, he, uh, he has been an ERP consultant and he's a lecturer to local universities and also he's an account manager, all right? So please welcome our keynote speaker, <clears throat> Faslan Fais. Hi, hi, how are you, buddy? Hi, hi, everyone. Hi. Yeah, so, right, guys. So, as uh, Paul uh, gave a nice introduction about the organization and also like about the things what they do. So, let me uh, take this moment. So, let me explain about myself. As Paul said correctly, I'm an ERP consultant. So, uh, I'm a business consultant actually for the last five years' time. So, I'm specialist in uh, domains such as, you know, manufacturing, supply chain, project and services and also I have the knowledge in, you know, e-commerce and everything. So, let's go through. So, meanwhile, so let me, you know, uh, share my screen and I hope you all can sh see the screen. Can you all see the screen, guys? Yeah, Paul, can you see? Uh, Paul? And others, uh, can you all see the screen? Yeah, I can. I, I, can, I can see the screen. Yeah, I can see. I hope uh, others can see. Yeah, I hope everyone can see. If anyone can't see, just send us uh, on chat, you know? <clears throat> exactly. Right. So let's get started, guys. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a very simple thing. So uh, do not uh, like get distracted. Just give me one second. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, uh, so let me start by one by one. So, so let me, you know, glance through the slides. And meanwhile, if you have any questions about, let's say, the functionalities or the business process, or else even in terms of, let's say, the product and the courses, but you know, our academy is offering. Yeah, always you can, you know, uh, drop those questions on the chat box. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, the first screen. So I think yeah, he has explained. So this is my poster. So what I'm trying to do is like in this poster, we are trying to cover up two main points, like, you know, mistakes entrepreneurs and accountants are making during these times. And like, what we are trying to do is like, you know, during a, a situation like this, we are, we, we, we know like what are the practical problems people can face, like entrepreneurs, accountants, you know, management. So uh, the benefit of having a cloud accounting software. Uh, so all this in a line to that, we'll start it. Yeah. So yeah, this slide, I just skip it because uh, Paul has already covered and also the partners. So this app partners guys, I'll explain to, to you all. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll explain to you all. Uh, so uh, like uh, the detail wise, we will be explaining uh, in upcoming slides. So what we do is like apart from uh, this, uh, apart from a wave accounting uh, uh, and also uh, zero accounting, I should say we have other products like, you know, wave accounting, Sasu, then we are like, you know, Salesforce, Deer, again, you can see uh, QuickBooks. So these are like different other related products like softwares, accounting softwares, and also we have inventory management solutions. All these things are there. So I will explain you detail wise about all these products in upcoming slides. Yeah. And also as, co as uh, Paul correctly mentioned, these are like some of our corporate partners. So Mercury Institute, Achievers Lanka Business Schools, as of now, we are working on with them. And also like we are like partnered with SEMA, CA like that. So these are like some of them we have just, you know, captured. So let's glance through. So the main topic, what we're trying to again cover up here, like as like the previous time, why cloud accounting? So let's get started with that pitching. So why we uh, choose uh, or select cloud accounting? Uh, so I would say it is smarter and also it is a fast and also it is better overview. So it's a smart option and also the accessibility for a cloud accounting is much faster because it's basically you will be needing a basic internet connection. Other than that, nothing is required. You don't need to have insulation. You don't need to have special softwares. No, a basic Google Chrome or a basic browser is more than enough for you. Even with a minimum, let's say a mobile connection is more than enough for you to access and do that and better overview. So I'll explain to you all these regards, these points in my upcoming slides and also the improved collaboration. So first and foremost, what is a cloud? Because last time also, I think I explained to the audience what is a cloud. Uh, since uh, this time we might have different or new audience. 
So cloud means basically, uh, if I say on a layman language, it's like, you know, accessing your server through internet. So that is the most basic definition what we can provide on a cloud. So let's look at this definition as well. So the cloud is a platform to make data and software accessible online at any time, anywhere from any device. So this is the comprehensive description what we do. So basically we know like in the server, we have our application and also we have our software and also we have our data is running on our servers. So basically, as I explained to you earlier, accessing the server through the internet can be considered as cloud. So the definition, again, you can see over here at any time, anywhere. So basically the cloud is a mechanism, what we have provided where accessing to your server. If I say on a basic note, how, like anywhere, anytime you can do that with a minimal basic internet connection. So you might be in Sri Lanka, for an example, yeah, let's assume your office is out of Colombo. Let's say during a pandemic situation like this, you are not able, you can't go to your office. Yeah. So if I say simply, so what you can do is basically if you have a cloud accounting platform launched in your organization or is launched in your business premises without even going to your office, what you can do is basically through your laptop or computer with a very basic minimal internet connection, you can access and do the transaction as well. So there are like other benefits. So I'll explain to you in, in terms of the slides in upcoming ones. Yeah. Right. So this is what, uh, again, we are just explaining you cloud and accounting software can be used from any device with an internet connection. So that means basically even from a, you don't basically uh, need to have a computer or a laptop at any given time. No, even a basic mobile connection or else a mobile device is more than enough, something like this, very simple. So basically you log to your solution or the system through a browser. So simply have the idea cloud means or cloud accounting, the accessible media is basically even with a mobile connection. Yeah, with a 3G phone, if you have a browser and if you have your mobile data is more than enough for you to access. And regardless where you're staying, let's say you might be staying in different parts in the world, but still you can access the cloud. So that's the most powerful thing about the cloud accessibility from any device at any given time. Yeah. And also the online accounting means small business owners stay connected. So that's another definition we have provided for this. Yeah. Right. So, and also uh, the best thing about cloud, I mean, like you, uh, like, as I explained to you, so you would have got a basic idea, I would say like about cloud. So basically cloud means, as I said, you can access any given time uh, at anywhere as well. But uh, apart from accounting software, now basically we know a cloud accounting software means basically it will handle your AR, account receivable, accounts payable, and also expense management and all your cash inflows, your outflows, and let's say your GL reporting and everything. But the other beauty about this cloud accounting software is what I'm going to talk in front, different products. They have this amazing ability to integrate with different solutions. Means basically, let's say sometimes in different organization, you know, like apart from their accounting or the finance, which is the backbone, they will be needing a different solution for their inventory. Sometimes an organization might be doing a website. That means their business into e-commerce. Yeah. So they have a website through website. They do their business. So you can see in a time like that, we need to integrate, which is the finance or the backend or the backbone of the organization to a solution like this. So you can see all these products, what I'm going to do has this amazing seamless integration. That means basically we can integrate the zero or different products, which I'm going to talk in uh, like in the upcoming slides as the accessibility or the integration capability to integrate with different kind of solutions. So that's what we call as these add-ons and all these things. So I'll explain to you much better in upcoming slides, right? So as you see, it's scalable, cost-effective and easy to use. So I'll show how it's going to happen. So the other thing is in the cloud, there's no need to install or run application. So as I said, you uh, initially itself, when you're running a cloud application, so just for us to again, to regain, you don't need to have special softwares, guys. It's basically about you are having accessibility to your cloud and also you are having a mobile connection or data connection is more than enough for you to do a transaction or let's say access to your software. And also the other thing is like, if I say from a financial angle, 
in organization you don't need to have a capital expenditure so capital expenditure means like initially you don't need to have a huge investment for a software like we know like couple of years back if you look into that the past those days if they want to uh, have a proper solution they have to have a huge you know capital expenditure that means they have to purchase you know servers they should have a separate location then the servers has to be maintained so you can see there's electricity cost and then you need to have an IT person to have backups and also you need an IT person to do the patch releases or the releases like that so you can see all this hassle or the cost is not occurred in uh, cloud it's basically so monthly on a monthly basis you just pay a subscription or let's say a monthly a payment and you can use the software so this concept is pretty much like let's say you're using electricity or as if i say you're using your water yeah so you can see electricity you use it on a monthly basis and you pay the bill so something like that yeah i hope you're clear right so i'm going to talk about another slide now this slide i'm going to talk about what are the five different ways cloud softwares can benefit your business or organization all right so what i've done is i have taken five key points or i would say five most important points as i have filled and number one is you have a clear overview of your current financial position in real time means basically when you have a cloud solution whenever you are doing your transaction on a live basis those transactions will be recorded example let's say today in the morning you log to a solution system or your cloud and you're doing transaction let's say you're doing a sales invoice and you're getting receipts you're recording all these things in the cloud so what's going to happen is let's say if you take your income statement for an example your let's say your income statement is automatically updating whenever you're doing the transaction so regardless of having a time frame regardless of your having a, a update or like a manual uh, you know intervention automatically through the cloud your financial position or the financial reportings including your kpis your reports and your charts is always updated so at any given time on a real time basis you are seeing your real data so every time whenever you are doing a transaction whenever there is a cash flow or transaction fluctuation happening in your organization at any given time your financial position is updated from it so number two position i'm going to talk about multi-use access makes it easy to collaborate online with your team and advisors means basically that means now whenever you have a multi-use access you can access to the solution and you can collaborate with people example let's say like uh, let's say assume myself and paul so we are both of us are working for an organization so let's assume he is my finance manager and i'm his financial julian so i'm doing a transaction in a solution right so whenever i'm doing a transaction let's say i did i i made a mistake right so what i do is you know for i i'll inform paul yeah so this sales invoice for an example let's say this number i have made a mistake can you see what's wrong in it so instead of you know like him visiting my place or instead of him coming to uh, like look into a manual sheet what he can do is uh, automatically he can log to the solution and he can look into that sales invoice number and he can review what is wrong with that so very simple thing i said so the collaboration you can see how we can work during a, a situation like this now during a situation like this let me you know try to get this example to do this present situation now you can see now we have to work from home most of the organization so let's assume again the same example paul is my finance manager and i'm his financial executive so i'm doing a mistake in certain reporting or as the, as i said uh, my sales invoice is wrong for an example right so what i do is i'll inform paul so you can see paul let's assume he is living in somewhere else so he can access to the solution he can review my sales invoice and he can you know inform me what is wrong with it so you can see how we collaboratively work so like without disturbing your you know business processes without having any disturbance you continuously do your business so we call this as business continuity so the business continuity is 100% available in this cloud software so i just gave you a small example right so the third one is automatic updates mean you can spend more time doing what you love so this is another pretty interesting fact i want to explain so if you would have seen like uh, i think you would have seen some companies they have this legacy or the on premise solution so what happens is if you have a on premise solution as i said to you earlier now you have servers now once you have servers now you have to have an it person to look after those servers that's one thing and whenever you want to do an update to your solution 
you have to remind to that IT person manually and ask him to do manual, you know, updates. So in cloud, you don't need to have worries about that automatically, which is like the data centers or like, let's say these products have their data centers. All these data centers, they do the automatic updates without disturbing your business processes. That means you can do your business process as you are doing. So without you knowing there is an update, yes, definitely you will be getting update note right you can automatically an update will be done so you don't need to inform an it person you don't need to inform an external entity so to do updates automatically the updates on the schedulings will be done so that's an, another interesting factor what we provide on cloud so the number fourth point is everything is running online so there is nothing to install and everything is backed up automatically so this is a fantastic feature what we provide and also another thing is your backup so like if you would have handled systems, you know, like always there's another concern about the organization is backing up their data. So when it comes to a cloud solution, you don't need to worry about it already automatically your data will be backed up. So basically, so on a monthly basis, you pay a subscription. So your data is automatically backed up, automatic updates are available for your system. So all these things are taken care by the cloud host and the, or as the hosting partner or as we say the software partners, if I say very simply. And the final one is upfront business cost are reduced, version upgrades, maintenance, system administration cost, and server failures are no longer an issue. So as I explained to you earlier, like this is not a capital expenditure, guys. It's a very simple, minimal investment. So you don't need to worry about in a failure, like let's say you have servers, so you buy your service, you pay, let's assume you're paying like, you know, uh, millions of uh, money, and you invest and you buy this service. Let's say in a situation of service, you know, like to some kind of a, a situation, it, it, it becomes, you know, not usable or else you can't use your service. So you can see like in a case like that, your business processes are like fully down. You can't do anything. Yeah. So in a case like that, you don't need to worry about those things where the cloud has that absolutely the ownership and it will do all these things. So you don't need to worry about your saver failures because they have these amazing backups and also they have a mechanism called DRS. That's we call a disaster recovery solution or a system where all these you know, failures can be retrieved. Yeah. And also the other thing is like, as I said earlier, since you don't have a much cost to invest initially itself, it's basically you don't have an administration cost. That means you don't have you don't, you don't need to have an IT person to look after. You don't need to pay him a salary. You don't need to have a, a separate place to have this service where you have an electricity cost in a case like that. So all this cost all can be reduced because of the cloud. So I just explain you five, I would say most powerful advantages what we provide through a cloud. Yeah, so let me go to that. So uh, the other side, what I'm trying to talk is uh, accounting software you must consider. So these are the four products I would always recommend because like you need the minimal, uh, let's say the investment for all these fantastic products. So one is zero, one is uh, QuickBooks, other one is Myob and Wave Accounting. So I'll explain you all these four amazing products and their you know, powerfulness as well in upcoming slides, sorry. Right, so first I'm going to explain you about zero. So zero, I would say one of the most advantageous product in the recent times. For the last six years, if you see, zero has like capitalized the market. If I give an inventory or introduction about the zero product, which is a New Zealand based software that offers a cloud based accounting software platform for small and medium business. So zero is a New Zealand product. So it's an amazing product guys. Like it's very easy for you to do the transaction. And it's an online accounting software where you can have, let's say, AR, your APs, and also you can manage your cash inflows, your cash outflows, everything. So, so zero. the other benefit is now it has a, a touch mobile version as well. Now you can see that is, a, that is an app. So available on the App Store and also the Google Play. So basically, like what is happening is the if I talk about a technology revolution, the, now you can see all these cloud softwares or the cloud accounting softwares. Now they have this mobile version or the app version. So basically you can download those app from your Android, the app store or it's the Apple I store as well. Yeah. So that is available as well. So you can see here we have like, you know, highlighted how it will look like from a mobile as well. 
So you can see we have taken two screenshots to uh, see. So example, you can see how we manage all these things in a mobile. So it's mobile compatible as well. So that is another benefit you have. So instead of, you know, like you having a laptop all the time, yeah, we know like it is not possible or not practical for a business uh, a person or else a CEO to carry out his mobile, I mean, his uh, laptop. So always you have the mobile application where you can access your data at any given time and retrieve your most information. So other important factor now I'm going to talk is that Zero or this product has this amazing, you know, innovation capability, as I said you earlier itself. So it is really powerful. You can see it is supporting more than 800 plus third party applications. So it might be inventory solution, invoicing, it might be a time tracking solution, your expense management. So all these different kind of solutions can be integrated to zero. So that's the power zero provides you. So I'll uh, explain you now you can see this chart. This is some of the application which is supporting zero for their integration. So what we have done is on a holistic OV, we have taken payments, time tracking software, invoicing and jobs, customer relationship software like that. Different third party solutions. Example, you go for customer relationship, you have a uh, you know, pipe drive, HubSpot. These are like different customer relationship management solution or else CRM solutions, which can be easily integrated to zero. So if I talk about this, now, as I said, you now you can see zero is your finance solution. So all these third party solutions are other business process and organizations will be needing. So let's say there is an organization where they have zero, but for let's say for payments, they have another solution for time tracking. They have another solution for invoicing. They have another solution. So what we can do is all these third party solutions can be easily integrated to zero. So that's the power of this product. Apart from handling your cash management, your expense management, Zero has this powerful tool of integrating to different these kind of solution. So I hope you will get an idea. Yeah, basically later if you have any questions, let's discuss further. Right. So the next one is I'm going to talk about who needs Zero. So this is an absolutely a fantastic thing. So in my terminology, I would say Zero can be utilized by different stakeholders. So I would say in a business organization. When it comes to a small business or let's say even a medium sized organization, you know, like you have customers, right? You have employees, you have suppliers, you have banking, you have your government, you have your technology. Now you can see these are like stakeholders. So in our business terminology, we call them as stakeholders. So all these stakeholders, they can even utilize the solution like zero. Example, yeah, you have your own customers. So let's say the customer is having zero, so they can utilize. So your employees, employees can utilize an internal person for your system. Like that your suppliers, like that banking, government, technology, all these external entities, they can easily use zero. And the other thing is like, uh, what I want to explain about zero is it's an interesting user-friendly simple product. That means that has been designed in a such a way where you don't need to have a base, I mean like, not even a basic, uh, I would say, IT knowledge. It's very simple. It's basically very simple architecture the way they have the design. So you can log into the solution. You can do you know, one or two transaction. You can create master files. And also you can do the transaction. So that is more user friendly than any other solution. So that's another powerful thing about Zero, the way it has been designed. Right. So now I come to the most interesting, uh, uh, the slide of this you know, whole presentation I should say like zero's most famous applications so what I have done is like uh, like if you talk about Aslan, zero, let me like, uh, let me stop all there you know before you continue I just want to explain a small thing all right so yeah. these are the zero app market you know zero can be integrated with 800 add-ons applications all right it's more than 800 applications every day they're introducing they're introduced they're adding to their marketplace app marketplace so you can integrate with zero so so when you integrate with zero, it's very you can e seamlessly you can synchronize transaction from one platform to another. Now take a look at this. All right. So these you can see the bank slip. So this one you can you know you can take a picture and you can upload. You don't need to you know the put in the file and you know maintain that files. All right. So we can you can see at the officers there are truckload of files you know placed on the the tables. All right. So you can throw it in the dustbin. So you know someone throw in this dustbin. So you can throw in the dustbin. And use these apps you know these are the most valuable stuff and also uh, just watch this webinar until the end end of this uh, webinar you know 
So there will be exciting offers available for you. Exciting offers will be given from the Cloud Accounting Academy. Exactly. Okay, let's over to you, mate. Right. Okay. Thank you, Paul. So as like Paul correctly mentioned, you know, like on, on a detail wise, let's go through the solutions. Right now, Receipt Bank is an online though. So this is one, you know, third party application, which is right, like really famous of integrating with zero. So that is called Receipt Bank uh, online. So that is actually an online receipt banking uh, tool. So basically, if whenever you have a uh, receipts, let's say your sales receipts, your petty cash receipts, all these receipts can be uploaded to the solution and automatically it can be integrated to the zero. So the financial transactions or the, the postings can be captured from the zero. So that is a fantastic thing. So receipt bank, again, it's a, uh, like, a, a, like a famous third party solution which has provided and it can be you now integrated easily to the zero. So as you can see, again, they're explaining it reads and extracts data from your receipts and invoices and other financial paperwork. So basically you have to take a snap as Paul said, you upload it. So from the uploading, we have the integration with the zero. So automatically whatever the financial information which has to be catered or captured through the zero side can be automatically captured, right? So then we are going to talk about Fathom. Fathom is another financial analysis and management reporting tool designed to help users monitors trends, assets, and business performance. So basically what is happening is Fathom is a third party solution, which they are to analyze your financial reporting management. Example, you might have, be having a profit and loss statements, your cash flow statements, uh, let's say, uh, so all these statements, you know, can be integrated to zero. So you can do trending, you can see the business performance. For an example, like uh, companies who are interested in their financial analysis, right? How their trending is going to happen like a kind of like a if, a if so analysis. Yeah. So all these things can be done through the Fathom. So it is automatically integrated to our zero products. So automatically whatever the financial information, which has to be captured and which has to be passed to, to the Fathom, it can be done. So basically in the, in this case, so it will pull up certain information from zero to Fathom to do some financial analysis on recordings, what we have through zero. So that's about Fathom. Right. So then we talk about Hubdoc. Hubdoc again is a document management solution. So why we need a document management? Now, this is also very interesting. Now, when you talk from a practical angle, when you look into a business operations, today's business operation, if they're into trading or even if they're into different kind of solutions or systems, it might be a product based company or it might be even a service based company. They have to handle, they have to handle with suppliers. They have to handle with their customers as well. Right. So when you're handling with your suppliers, your customers, for an example, you have different documents to maintain. Example, a supplier might be sending you a purchase invoice, a customer sales invoice. Now all these invoices sometimes you get as a manual thing. So sometimes to record those invoices in your solution, you need these system to, I mean, these, these documents need to be added as a, as an attachment. So what is happening is in a case like that, Hubdoc is a document management system, a solution for the business process. All these, you know, attachments can be captured. And also the other thing is that it has a, like a cabinet or like a final uh, file cabinet where you can, you know, rearrange all your information and all these things will be captured properly. So what will happen is it will have a direct link with our zero. So, so whenever example, let's say you're raising a sales invoice. So related to that sales invoice, you might be having a document uh, attached. So that attachment can be maintained in Hubdoc. So automatically that Hubdoc and zero is captured. So basically you have the invoice number and related document in the Hubdoc. So on a simplified note, so that's how the, you know, the integration works or the communication is happening between zero and Hubdoc. Then we are going to talk about spotlight reporting. Again, this is a powerful reporting tool. So you can see spotlight reporting is an integrated cloud reporting and forecasting tool that allows you to create insight for your business decision. So why we need, uh, so apart from a reporting angle, spotlight provides a, a forecasting tool. So why we need forecasting is like, for an example, like companies more, more into like trading, 
who are into product based so they want to do sales forecasting so this is a terminology they use in a business term so they want to focus about their future how many sales they are going to uh, get so it's basically about their demand and and the supply so the forecasting is a very important tool for an organization so what is happening is like all these recordings or the reportings will be maintained in spotlight so whatever the information that is needed for spotlight let's say your sales information let's say your age analysis your customers outstanding all this related information so whatever the integration points we have to integrate and all the necessary points will be pulled from zero to spotlight as you can see from this image which is there from zero to spotlight the integration and how the data is are driven so we have even included some of the screenshot into our left side you can see some of the performance some of the charts like you know how it's maintained on spotlight yeah again so spotlight is an amazing tool and then we are going to talk about another interesting product called trade gecko so this trade gecko is again a singaporean based company which is one of the most famous uh, i would say inventory management solution so basically uh, why we need a inventory management solution is in different organization to maintain their inventory they don't have a system so like let's assume like when they have a system like trade gecko the inventory automation or the automation of the inventory happens where you can see example when you do a purchasing automatically a grn or else your inventory will go up and whenever you are doing a sales automatically the inventory will be reduced so the fluctuations of your inventory can be automatically managed through trade gecko amazing thing and also the other powerful aspect of this trade gecko is they are supporting for a e-commerce platform as well so basically i just explain you the e-commerce platform and the inventory how it's functioning in an organization so basically it's a very simple thing guys so let's assume i have an organization where i sell my products through my website right so if i have a website like let's say a customer is placing an order so once they place an order right let's uh, assume they place the product a yeah so automatically the product a's inventory has to be reduced because they place the order they confirm the order so from the back end a sales order will be raised so automatically my now inventory has to be reduced so what's going to happen is like if you don't have a proper system right you can't track this so the trade gecko what's going to happen is like if you have a system like let's say a shopify yeah which is a trade e-commerce platform so we can integrate this trade gecko to you know e-commerce uh, i mean sorry the shopify automatically the integration will be happening which will be reduce in the inventory as well so that you can see the automation of the inventory is happening so the trade gecko software is supporting for that and what we can do is this trade gecko so can be even integrated to our product which is zero so whenever we are doing a purchasing transaction the inventory automations can be automatically captured through trade gecko as well so that's a basic idea another important so now i'm going to talk about the different solutions so this salesforce so we call salesforce as a customer relationship management software so it is one of the uh, uh, most powerful customer relationship softwares available in the world so what we can do is when it comes to customer relationship means it's about managing your customers so what is happening is for an example in different organization when they have a sales team they do a customer relationship management work so how like the finance people they do their financial transaction the sales people before converting them as a customer they do different kind of sales activities so i'm just talking on a layman language example they go behind leads then they go go behind their opportunities who are like opportunities then they have to do campaigns marketing automation yeah then they have to see analysis then they should uh, look at the relationship building like for an example you go and meet the customer like you talk to the customer right you gave a proposal about your products to the customer then again you nurture the customer so you can see all these stages in a customer relationship management we call this as stages yeah proposal in negotiation like that we have different stages so to track all these stages we have a different solution just like the accounting customer relationship management is a different business process so all these processes can be handled in salesforce so very simply so all these salesforce can be in, you know uh, automatically can be you know integrated to zero so what's going to happen is like example so once you once this you know lead or your opportunity once they become a customer again all these customer details can be pulled to zero 
without again uh, replicating those information in zero. Yeah, so all this necessary information can be captured through zero as well. So very simply, this is what's going to happen, sales and this. Then again, I'm going to talk about another amazing product. This is called Dia Inventory. So Dia Inventory is something like, you know, again, an inventory management solution, but this time it is more powerful than I would say a trade deco solution. So this is more into like a mid-size, uh, you know, like organization where they can handle my, you know, little bit of complex inventory, you know, transaction, or I would say business processes, something like, uh, you know, like in inventory terminology, they call inventory to inventory transfers or else we call warehouse to warehouse transfers basically in different organization they have multiple uh, warehouses so from warehouse to warehouse if they want to do you know transfers all these things can be captured and then they can do you know like some organization the way they you know capture their product is different they have batch products they have lock products and sometimes they might be serial products now you can see how important is this you know to have these kind of products yeah so all these things can be captured. And the other thing is, uh, and also like in the product master, you can, you know, like upload those product masters and everything, you know, to the solution as well. So that's another thing. So DS system is little bit, you know, does a little bit of complex operations in terms of inventory as well. Yeah. And also like, uh, as you can see, it, uh, a reliable inventory management software solution for B2B e-commerce as well. So as I explain you the trade to cost concept, even that can be captured as well. So even if you have an e-commerce solution, you can do that as well, right? So then I'm going to talk about again, a traditional one. So QB online, QuickBook, again, something like zero, a different accounting software. So QB online is an online based accounting platform. Now I'm just talking about a different accounting software. Again, it is again a powerful one. And also Quick, uh, QuickBook has been in the market for a long time as well. Yeah, Paul, uh -huh. questions? Right, right. So, uh, so QuickBook is an amazing product, as I said. So, just like Zero. So earlier they had this desktop version as well, but later onwards they converted into cloud. So you can see a company like QuickBook, which uh, which they had a desktop or on-premise solution. Later they understood the value of a cloud, and even them themselves they converted into cloud as well. So that's QuickBook as well. Again, Mayo. Myob is another, you know, like a very old famous product, I would say. So again, you can see it's a cloud-based online uh, accounting software, which is Myob Essential. And also, which is very user-friendly and simple, uh, simple to follow. A lot of customers are using Myob as well. They are to record their financial transaction as well. And again, you can see Wave, another... Uh, uh, then... Sorry? In the class, I Right. So Wave is another no, Canadian cloud-based uh, software which provides uh, financial service for small business. So like just like you know Zero, which is a New like, Zealand product. Zero, which is a New Zealand product. So this is a Canadian. Hello. Based, so uh, this is a Canadian. Uh, Hello. Uh, someone has uh, on their mic. Yeah. Right, guys, please mute it because once we done the presentation, uh, we'll have a you know questionnaire session. Whatever the questions you have, yeah, please, you know, drop them to the chat box and we'll later discuss. Yeah, right. Thank you. So as I was uh, mentioning, like Wave is a Canadian based uh, cloud accounting software. So again, you can, you know, uh, handle your financial transaction as well. Your cash inflows, your cash outflows, let's say your expense management and your invoicing, all these things can be handled through Wave as well. So that's basically about, you know, like, you know, different four products. So I was able to talk about zero on a high note and how powerful it has been. So you can see how uh, like seamlessly it can be integrated to different third party solutions. More than 800 applications are supported as like even Paul explained to you and like a little bit of uh, other products. So I am coming to the next slide, which is about who needs cloud accounting. So this is also very interesting. So cloud accounting can be used across many sectors such as retail, tourism, e-commerce, hospitality, like that. So it means basically, regardless of your business, uh, I would say segment, right? You might be having a you know retail operation, uh, wholesale, tourism, e-commerce, whatever you call. Definitely, all these organizations will be needing to run their finance, isn't it? So once they want to run their finance, they should be having a flexible solution up to date where they can retrieve data, 
and also the you know accessibility now if you talk about today's world or now the current situation you can see like we are working from home like we don't have the access to go to our office so in a case like that you can see as i mentioned you earlier as well finance is the backbone of an organization so can you just imagine like your finance operation uh, like you know let's say your finance team is not operating definitely it can't be so to prevent all these things the best solution what we can provide is guys cloud so anywhere with even with a minimal uh, you know like a uh, like a device like even like a mobile device you can get connected and you can do the transaction so as i was mentioning regardless of your business segment you can do i mean everyone can use the cloud accounting to do their basic financial transaction so another thing is like most of the customers i mean you should be like knowing like whenever you go and talk to a customer like they might be having the idea of converting it to a cloud but they might be having existing data system so what is happening is zero or this all these products what i what i talk all this cloud accounting software has this amazing capability of you know like data conversion that means we will provide you you know we call this as a data migration so we'll provide you an excel file a csv file so in the csv file you can dump all the data so all these data can be uploaded to the solution and uh, you can do the transaction so even that has been provided so you can see zero has the integration capability data migration capability and it is a powerful cloud computing software so accessibility uh, you can see the reliability your data are always protected you don't need to have an it person and also the cost in terms of cost you are like you know you don't have a cost you can see all these benefits are you know your take your given your like you are provided when you are having a cloud computing software so that's on a nutshell i just explained to you right so again key reasons why you should consider converting your existing data so as i said to you uh, why we need is like sometimes to do some certain decision making guys we need to have the old data so to have the old data it has to be captured and it has to be recorded in the system example let's say you are starting up your operations with your new system this year but for the last 5 years or let's say you you might be having certain customers you know certain information loaded so you need to have those information to take more decisions yeah so very simple so to all to do all these things you will be needing data so all these data can be captured and you know converted into in our present solution where you can do the comparison and all these things and also it's free so it's a part of this as well right so then the other one is the benefits of converting to the cloud as i said you accessibility security cost so as i explained you in the i mean the previous slide with all these things you can access you can have the security measurement and the in terms of cost it's a minimal investment on a monthly basis you pay a subscription as well that's it and also the bandwidth so now what we are going to do is now you would have got i would say like uh, i hope you would have got a basic idea why cloud is very important and you know how why cloud is like more important in a situation like this and also from a business perspective if you talk you know like today's business organization you know if you talk about today's modern world all the business organization they are like moving into cloud because they they understand you know the value of cloud they understand the depth of the cloud so in a case like that you know like just assume like you are being an employee of an organization and if you have a you know hands on experience on cloud you know that they will be preferring you more than anyone else isn't it because like you have a knowledge about you know cloud you know you know about how the system works you know how to retrieve a data you know how to record a report so all these things are there so because of that we provide this amazing courses so this is one course we provide at achievers because we have been like you know doing with achievers so all this information uh, you can see you will be learning about the cloud uh, setups uh, and basic transaction like purchasing a sales now i'm talking about the business processes what we are covering budgeting you know vats you know fixed asset management you know journal entries all these things so your investment as you can see the investments and everything is there but later onwards you know paul will be sharing his mobile app as well so you can get more information and also now we provide an advanced accounting course for the smes this is advanced zero accounting so we will be providing a uh, more information on zero like you know like uh, epf etf your purchasing uh, then the quote quotations you know you can see some of the functional areas i have like you know captured yeah chart of accounts customized reporting how you you know play with your 
personalizing your dashboard all these things can be covered in this course as well then what we do is uh, and also like uh, they are, in this we will be like doing you know financial analysis and management report uh, uh, you know smes like other uh, products how uh, on a nutshell we will be providing you a knowledge about all these solution how these uh, products can be integrated with zero as well right right so these are the other certifications what we provide once you complete this course so you can see advisor certification payroll certification migration bio advisor certification qb pro like that we will provide you different certification so i would say guys like it's going to be very important for you all to have this kind of different certifications you know like having this kind of certification can be definitely a surplus to your you know career growth yeah whenever you go for an organizations to work all these things can be very important as well right and also like you know this is the price like what we have done is like we understand there is a situation going throughout the world and also sri lanka as well so we provided the, so we have reduced our cost from 20000 to 8000 so this is a lockdown discount we have provided so i would you know recommend for you all to start up because if you just talk about myself guys like i i am an electronic engineer but you know like uh, i learned about erps about all these things so so even you can you know learn about these uh, things as well right right so so i would say you know uh, why don't you use uh, this kind of a situation or this time to learn about these kind of solutions which can be a definitely a surplus as well right so again you can see a, so our, another lecturer is uh, paul my good friend so even like so you can see the prices has been reduced by 50% so uh, so even he is an expert so you can you know get the depth of you know cloud accounting how it's functioning and all these things and also apart from that it can be uh, you know as i mentioned so plus for your, i mean career growth so these are the other courses we provide cloud accounting course for semis advanced zero course you know the lockdown price has been reduced by 15000 so it's very uh, you know like uh, it has been reduced to this amount so all this information you can see the mobile number is there guys you know drop an email if you have any queries you know you can get more information and also we provide you another course so this is another course you want to talk so cloud accounting course for 15000 and we provide the zero accounting course for 20000 but the total the investment can be 45000 but during this lockdown we have provide Uh, a special discount i think uh, till tomorrow it is valid i think paul can give more information about that so the price yeah, let, is let me about explain about you, about that course you know so these are three courses actually so three courses you can get under for 12000 all right so normally we sell these three courses for 45000 but you can enroll for 12000 so it's valid until tomorrow until midnight yeah. and also talking about the virtual uh, the cfo course we have if you go yeah. to the our this slide so virtual cfo this you can see So it is we sell for twenty five thousand, all right. So you can you can enroll for that one twelve thousand. So there we will be focusing on financial analysis and management reports, all right. So there you can learn you know all the KPIs everything. It just you know you don't need to like uh, uh, do manually uh, the financial analysis, all your KPIs, the ratios, the gross pro profit margin, net profit margin, and uh, your cash ratios. Everything is there and with the nice reports and with the nice dashboards. So you will learn with four. financial management uh, analysis cloud based analysis systems all right yeah you can continue uh, fasal yeah right no worries so as i said like you know like uh, so what you learn now this is what we are uh, like focusing so you can you know skill up skill your knowledge you know and also like you will be learning how the uh, software or like how it is set up how the purchasing sales you know all these business processes are happening so what is a bank reconciliation how it's captured how the inventory management is handled in a cloud solution all these amazing benefits guys so i would say you know like you know you should learn always you know utilize your free time you know solution like this because as i said you now the world is moving to digitalization so most of the organization if even if you take sme small to medium business organization all these organizations are you know like converting their business into you know cloud solutions so they understand you know the value as i said so if you can you know get some knowledge it's going to be very important and it's going to be a surplus for you and after your completion you know you will be getting you know zero certification and also that can be an advantage point for you for your australia and new zealand points as well so that is the so again you can see uh, these are the things we will be learning from zero and bev certification again uh, you can see different uh, functional areas like uh, accounting software setup as i mentioned purchasing sales bank reconciliation 
your chart of accounts and also like your fixed asset management how you manage your assets like say depreciation revaluation like that all this necessary information what you want to learn everything can be captured as well so again you can see guys for this course uh, the course is for 15000 but we are providing a 50% discount 7500 is your investment and the duration has been captured for 3 weeks yeah so that's basically about that so again you can see on a nutshell uh, we you will be learning all these things google sheet google calendars and you know how uh, like the other third party solutions can be captured so all these different courses we provide through zero right so that's basically about uh, the things any questions guys okay we have received some questions all right so as yeah. I, uh, as faslan explained to you all all right so there are many of us available so you can you know you can get tenure for any type of course uh, today you know so these uh, all these offers valid until 31st may 2020 so they are all, uh, and also we are planning to extend you know uh, the course of uh, until the 10th of june that is for only few courses but all these courses available the, with these offers until 31st may 2020 so we have received some queries all right the first we have received from the mr vasanth dials all right so it's a dear system and earlier inventory system what are the advantages and advantages so if you take a look at these uh, two softwares all right so trade gecko you can purchase for uh, $39 the starting price is $39 all right and dear starting price is $150 so you can see the uh, the difference the pricing difference and also if we take the the score uh, the the uh, the normally the reviews uh, the trade gecko has 9.3 and the dia has 8.4 and also if you take the customer experience trade gecko is a little bit more than uh, the dia so trade gecko has sorry a dia has more than the trade gecko dia has 97% trade gecko has 96 and if you take the uh, uh, the monthly payment you can do you can pay monthly in trade gecko you can pay annually as well so that is the advantage in uh, dia you can't pay annually and also uh, the dear inventory is not code based all right so uh, the, if you take the trade gecko it's code based and if you take the number of features all right number of features uh, the multiple locations and currencies available in both and also inventory management is both you can do the accounting and integration both and if you take the unique features some unique features in dear inventory it can systematic uh, it, it can do the systematic order tracking process and also you can do the efficient customer management and organized inventory control and compare with uh, these uh, the trade gecko trade gecko you can add your products quickly and you can manage your inventory and you can do the relationship management and you can create the the tracking categories by location of uh, class wise and also you can set up with the you can uh, integrate with the private b2b uh, b2b b2b e-commerce portal all right so that is the, uh, the few unique features in trade gecko if you take the pricing wise the di inventory offers a single plan for assembly and enterprising plans in enterprise and pricing users so that is cost 150 dollars for free users only so there's a limitation only three users and also there's a free, uh, free 15 day trial is available so if you take trade gecko trade gecko you uh, the starting price you can start with the one user and one warehouse one user one house and also you can create a 14 day free trial and if and also uh, trade gecko has three different pricing plans starting from 39 starter then the light 79 dollars uh, and the uh, the the small business pricing plan 199 dollars so you, you can you can get billed annually and also uh, if if you don't want to get billed annually you can pay 249 dollars per month all right that is also up, up to five users. So these are about the differences about the trade gecko and DA inventory. Uh, so these two systems are competitors. So if you want to know more information, we can email you, right? Uh, so can we pay installment basis? Oh, right? Yes, we can pay on installment basis. Or see all these cloud accounting platforms are on a SaaS model and we call it on a subscription basis. Uh, you give practical training i think they're asking yeah do you about... have do you give yes we'll be giving practical training you know during the course we'll be creating a separate myself will be giving 
that. Yeah, you can if you want, you can add something, you know. Yeah, I think. Uh, but as Paul said, like we will be creating a test account, test tenant guys, test account. So you can you know log to the test account. You can you know migrate some data. So you can have some master files, and then you can do some transaction as well. Then you get the real feel. So I think that's fun. So all these things are available in our course, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Like we'll be practically creating them an account, do the transactions. Yeah. yeah. And also, if we take a software like Fathom. So that is again a financial analysis, a management report as a Fathom. So Fathom is basically you can start, you can buy the price like for like nineteen dollars, right? So nineteen dollars. So that one also can be integrated QB, Zero, and some other accounting platforms. So advantage of that software is if you take the the, the spotlight reporting, Fathom, and some other financial analysis report, you you don't need to manually do it at the financial analysis, all right? So everything is there, all the reporting is there. You just do the integration. You learn how to do the integration. Then you go there, you do the customization, you download the reports. That's all you have to do. Then you provide all the reports to the management. So this is the advantage of these softwares, all right? So we, 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 we are not going to stick with the traditional way of doing things. So we will exactly. be shifting into a different, different world, different phase. With this global different. pandemic, it will be different, all right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we came, we, we came here today to educate you all, you know, uh, about these uh, exactly. different cloud accounting platforms available in the market. Mm -hmm. And also like Paul, one thing is like, I think, I mean, everyone, you should like have an idea. Now you can see guys like, like, as he mentioned, now if you take Fathom, it's a different solution. Then you have Salesforce, a different solution because it is catering for a different business process. Now you can see earlier to all these things, they had, you know, like different people, you know, they had to put a lot of effort to, you know, capture all this information. Now the world has moved to cloud because you can see on a monthly basis, they pay a small amount and they do all these transactions. For an example, CRM records are there in this. And then in Fathom, they do the financial analysis reporting and everything. So on a monthly basis, they pay a small amount and they have this integration to the finance. So all this information on one platform, paying by monthly, they can get all this information. So, so this is the benefit of cloud. You can see digitalizing your business process on cloud. On a monthly basis, you pay a small amount and it can be even integrated to your finance, which is your backbone. Yeah. So all these subsystems are there to, to for, for you to save time, you know, for business to save time. So by, while saving time, you can reduce the cost, all right? So reduce the cost means you can increase the profit. So that is the main purpose of implementing these softwares, you know, at the front desk, you know, and, you know, implementing this so you can uh, use it for uh, convenient and uh, efficient manner. You can use it, these, all these applications. So any other questions? Any other questions, guys? So don't stay silent, you know, you can interact with us, you know. <laughs> If, 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 if you are shy to speak, you can send, you know, in chat. If not, you can, if you're not shy, you know, you can turn on the mic, you can speak to us, you know. Exactly. Because if you stay silent, you know, you'll be stay silent in the rest of your life, you know. Yeah, and guys, I mean, I mean silent, you have questions, you know, just throw up, you know, then only you learn. Yeah. So get the maximum out of this webinar. So we are here to help you. <laughs> So when are we going to start the next batch? All right. So we will be starting the next batch uh, on Monday. So that is uh, Monday. So the Monday, uh, Monday to Friday, we conduct a for weekday batch. So that uh, starts from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and and batch two starts from uh, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And also all the all the weekend we conduct classes. That is for the weekend batch, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. That is uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and also 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. 8 p.m. So either batch, uh, you can join it, you know. I can see some few people are joining now, you know. So any other questions, guys? You know, just drop uh, the chat. Yeah. So we have a few more minutes. We can give you some, like five minutes, you know. Yeah. Yes, you can you can get the certificates. Yes, definitely. So if you get enrolled for these cloud accounting course or SMEs, you get you get two certificates. So one is cloud accounting uh, certificate, certificate in cloud accounting, and the other is certificate in zero accounting. There will be two uh, certificates for just seven thousand five hundred. All right. So we have given you all a fifty percent offer. 
and for each and every uh, course so once you uh, once you enrolled once you complete the course uh, we will be issuing the certificates and the hard copy and the digital copy are also available so we can email you the digital copy and hard copy we can courier you if we can't uh, if, if you can't come to our institute if not uh, so we will be uh, couriering you Any other questions, guys? And also, these uh, the webinar is uh, live streaming on F Facebook, you know, so you can watch even later. You, you go to our Facebook page and uh, watch, you know. How's the demand in current day market? Okay. So if you take the demand in, if you take in Sri Lanka, so now uh, these cloud accounting platforms are getting popular and popular. So many people are starting to use, all right? So they know the value of this, so they can uh, save the time and bring down the cost, everything. And also if you take the Western market, so Western market is almost like, you know, they are fully automated. Many businesses, they use these softwares, all right? It's very popular, you know, if you take HubDoc, it's, like, it's not a new thing uh, for them. But if you take here, if you if you try to implement for a uh, for a for the business, so it's it's like a new thing for them. But you know, HubDoc you can uh, implement for free because we are a certified uh, advisor of a HubDoc here. So and also zero, if you take zero organization purchase the uh, the HubDoc product last year May, so it has become a product of zero now. So we can implement, so you can do the document manage there. And, and also if you, if, you, if you would like to uh, implement this, uh, like uh, the software like Receipt Bank, all right? So that is uh, basically available in for, for a few countries. So you can implement, so you can implement, you know? So if you, if you, if you get a, uh, the foreign project, you can implement and you can integrate with different accounting platforms. And if you have any queries regarding your scores, so I'm gonna enter the our number, our hotline, so you can contact us. That is not seven six seven one seven six seven one six, and also you can WhatsApp us. If not, if you have any questions, you can email us. Hello at Cloud Connect. So you can yeah. email us. I think the best thing, uh, best thing you have to do is rather than emailing us, you know, just give us a call, you know, ask the, about the information rather than sending, you know, emails. <laughs> uh, so and also like, you know, like whatever the questions, regardless, whatever, you know, I mean, so, you know, all these questions, like we are like, okay to, you know, feel free to ask. And also like, uh, we are open to answer all these questions about your queries, about processors, about courses, whatever it might be, always be open guys. Yeah, we are always there for you. Yeah. Okay, guys, then uh, that's a wrap up, you know. So yeah. I hope you had a great session. So any queries, you know, just uh, give us a call, you know, so we'll be able to assist you. Any in in information about any course, we will be able to give you any detail, you know. So then oh, I hope you had a great session and- Yeah, I hope I gave time. you all a basic introductory session about, you know, about all these products and their features and also the courses. So any questions, please do uh, let us know, yeah. Okay then, thank you very much, guys. Paul, anything else? Yeah, that's all, you know. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Yeah, stay safe and stay limitless. Thank you. Okay.